What's up, guys? Teacher Corey here from English Tiger. And today we're going to do a Halloween lesson from Lingual House website. Let's take a look at this content and see what it's like. <laughs> So here's our lesson, all about Halloween. And you can see up at the top here, this is an intermediate B1, B2 lesson. So that means your English is okay. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. So let's look at our first part here. We have a little bit of vocabulary. We're talking about traditions here. Now, a tradition, you can see up here, is something people often do over a long period of time. So eating birthday cake on your birthday, that's a tradition. People have done it for many, many years, and lots of people do it the same way. That's a tradition. So let's look at number one here. We have the picture of the girl. Do you think this is a suit, a costume, or a uniform? This one is a costume, B. So a uniform is more used for work or school, something serious. A suit could be like a swimsuit or a business suit. But if you're dressing up as something silly, we usually use the word costume for that. This one is a costume. How about number two here? So this a ghost, a skeleton, or a skull. This one's a ghost. No, <laughs> actually, I won't tell you skeleton and skull because I see they're in this as well. We're going to get them a little later. So next one up here, what do you choose? A, B, or C? This one's A, a jack-o'-lantern. And that's when we take a pumpkin and we cut out its face. You can make it funny, you can make it scary, but that's a jack-o'-lantern. Number two? Actually, let's do two and three together because they both have similar options. So, number four? This is the skeleton. That's all your bones in your body. Your bones, that's your skeleton. And five is the skull. So skeletons, your whole body of bones. Skull is just your head bone. And our last one. It's the full moon, of course. That's when the moon is like a big circle. That's called a full moon. Half moon is like a little C. And a star, well, we all know the stars. Let's have some questions here. I'm going to ask the question, and then you pause the video. Stop the video, you answer, and then press play on the video and listen to my answer. See if your answer and my answer are similar or match up. So number one, what do people do on Halloween? You stop and you answer. On Halloween, people wear costumes. They decorate their houses and they go trick or treating to get candy. What objects can you see on Halloween? 
you stop and answer first. Skeletons, skulls, black cats, jack-o'-lanterns, witches, candy bags, lots of objects. Number three, which object probably doesn't exist? So exist means not in real world not in our world and probably probably it's just like maybe so which halloween objects do you think maybe don't exist say maybe witches maybe ghosts skeletons exist we all have them but ones that can walk and kill you they probably don't exist. Which natural event is considered to be scary? So natural event, something that happens in nature. Considered means you think about it. So which thing that happens in the world do you think is scary? For me, natural disasters, tornadoes, tsunamis, typhoons, these are all very scary. If you found a body that is 500 year old, what did you find? I think a skeleton, of course. Your hair and muscle and body is not going to last for 500 years. So this one must be number five. So how were your answers on that one? Did they come close to mine? A couple things to remember. Probably, just like maybe, Exist means it's real. Natural event, something that happens in nature. Considered means to think about it. Okay. And our next one here. We have a little reading. And then we are going to find the definitions for these underlined words down below. And let me make this one a little smaller so you can see the definitions too. There we go. I think that's good. So I'll read it. And while I'm reading, you try to put in these definitions, okay? Halloween is a celebration that takes place every year in a number of countries on October 31st. Historically, it was the day before the Western Christian Feast. Halloween is the beginning of time of year when people remember the dead, including saints, hallows, and martyrs. According to many scholars, Halloween was initially influenced by Celtic traditions, and it was originally a pagan festival. Other academics say that it has Christian roots. Typically, festive Halloween activities include trick-or-treating, attending costume parties, decorating, making pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns, dressing up in a skeleton or ghost costume, playing tricks on people, telling scary stories, and watching horror films. All right. So that's our reading there about it. Gives you some backstory on on Halloween, or at least what some people think about Halloween. 
Some of these they weren't sure. Is it Celtic? Is it Christian? What is it? <laughs> so our words. We have feast. Right there we have feast. Scholars. Initially. Pagan. Roots. Trick or treating. And treats. And down here. We have our eight definitions. I want you to try to match each one. So you pause the video, stop the video, and you try to match each one. I'm gonna give you five seconds and then I'll start to do it myself. Five, four, three, two, one. Our first one. People who are killed because of their beliefs. This is a martyr. This is a martyr. If you die because of your religious beliefs, you are called a martyr. That is a martyr. Next one. Specialists in a particular area of study. This is a scholar. A scholar is somebody who goes to school, learns a lot about something. They are an expert of that thing. Origins. Now, origins doesn't really have one of these underlined ones. Am I missing one? Oh, roots. There we go. I missed that one. Oh. Roots would go to origins. That means the beginning of it, when it started. Those are its origins. Actions such as ringing a doorbell, running away. That would be a trick. That would be what we call a trick. You know, bing, run away. They answer the door and say, hey, where'd you go? That's a trick. Asking for candy and threatening to play tricks on people who refuse. That, of course, is trick or treating. That's what they're saying when say trick or treat. Give them a treat or they will play a trick on you. Like ringing the doorbell, maybe messing up your yard. So you better just give them some candy. At first, that one initially. Initially is the same as at first. Initially, I was going to play basketball, but then it was raining. Related to ancient religion that believe in many gods, that is pagan. Pagan people believe there's not one god, there's many gods. A god of harvest, god of this, god of that. Pagans believe in a lot of gods. A large meal celebrating something. That's a feast. In English culture, we often have Christmas feast, Thanksgiving feast. If you have a lot of food, that's a feast. Okay. So how many of these were you able to get on your own? I hope most of them. So now we have some true or false questions. Let's see how much you know about Halloween. Number one. In the United States, more candy is sold on October 28th than any other day of the year. Do you think that's true or false? It's true. And over 10% of candy sales happen in the days leading up to Halloween. 10% of the whole year's candy sales. So that's a lot. 
too. A full moon on Halloween is very common. True or false? This one's false. It's actually quite rare. The first Halloween was in Norway. This one's false. People believe it was in Ireland. In Ireland. In the UK, black cats bring bad luck. This one's false. UK believe they're good luck. USA believes they're bad luck. Me, I love cats. So I think they're good luck. In United States, Halloween is the most commercial holiday of the year. False. It's Christmas. So this one, commercial, means they sell a lot. It's more about trying to get money and sell things than the actual traditional holiday. In many countries, such as France and Australia, Halloween is seen as a commercial American holiday. This one's true. Some countries don't celebrate it. They think it's a little silly. Black and orange are typically associated with Halloween. True. When people think of Halloween colors, they think of black and orange, like the like my shirt and a pumpkin color. <laughs> Jack-o'-lanterns are named after a man who was called Jack. This is actually true. They're named after an Irish, Irish legend, an old, old story about a stingy man named Jack. And our last one, Halloween originated around 1000 BC. This one's false. They actually think it's around 4000 BC. That's a long, long time ago, long time ago. So that's our Halloween lesson from Lingual House. Just a quick little free English lesson. Get you ready for the holiday season. Do you celebrate Halloween in your country? If so, what Halloween traditions do you do? Do you trick or treat, dress up, make a jack-o'-lantern? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think of Halloween. Do you think it's silly? Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's scary? I'm excited to know. Also, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Happy Halloween.